It is lightweight submission grappling. Tommy Langaker and Renato Canuto. Now this is a highly anticipated rematch. Tommy Langaker and Canuto competed in 2018 in the Gi, where uh, Langaker submitted Canuto. I have to say, man, at this point, this is probably one of the most exciting pro BJJ matches I've ever seen. These two guys make this 10 minutes feel like two minutes. It is just nonstop action, energy, and superior techniques. In fact, I'll even say that if you don't watch all 10 minutes of this match, that you are not truly a fan of grappling. Nice little single leg entry there from Hanato, but Tommy was wise to it, spun back around. Good defense from Tommy. Now I'm a big Tommy Langecker fan. Uh, I'm a huge fan of his work in the Gi, and that's a majority of what he does. He's done so far in his grappling career has been uh, BJJ in the Gi. He has recently made the transition over to doing a lot more uh, no Gi matches. A big part of his style is contingent on a lot of specific Gi grips and his ability to utilize those. So it's exciting to see someone who's considered to be a heavy gi player uh, transition into no gi as far as what's their style going to look like, what's their grips and their game going to be. And to really answer the question, could you be truly dominant in both? That Hanato has changed much since they last fought, hasn't added enough to his repertoire to keep up with him. I don't know, I got to disagree on that one. Hanato is a beautiful attacker from all levels, but... This is the Tommy's game right now. Look at him on top. You can see Hanato's in half guard, and he's looking to start uh, transitioning to something else. He's trying to sweep off balance, Tommy, and really start to advance his position. Hanato loves the leg locks, says he enjoys strangling opponents even more. Can he slap either on Langaka here tonight? Looks like he's attacking the neck, but that's a beautiful little butterfly hook he had right there to sweep off to the side. But Tommy keeps attacking that neck. Hanato's able to reverse, get up on top. You can see just how flexible that Tommy's guard is. Look at the way that he's moving his legs. His legs are always trying to stay in front of Hanato, but then he's also trying to set things up. He's kind of like a spider or an octopus the way that he uses his legs. This is what Hanato said, that Tommy was incredibly flexible. He knew that Tommy would have a flexibility advantage, but he believed he could catch Tommy when he was relaxing. You see the way he's crossing over his legs to keep his legs in front? It's so that Hanato can't get passed into a dominant position. Do we see any legitimate submission attempts that will play favorably for the judges here, circle side? here for Hanato Canuto. We believe that revenge is his tonight and he will sub out Tommy Mangaka. Mangaka though, when we spoke to him Dragon a couple of days ago, just supremely confident that he get the job done again. Yeah, you can see that Tommy's game is, he's always trying to grab the wrists, right? He's always trying to get his grips in control. When he competes inside the gi, which is the jacket, he's always dragging his opponents into his guard and looking to attack. And he has adapted that style to grabbing the arms and trying to pull people in and off balance them so he can look for his attacks. Runs the legs up here, hoping to look for an arm there, Dragon. Yeah, you can see he's trying to throw the leg up, but Hanato's wise to it. And this is what they both expected. They expected the first five minutes is kind of just a gauge and measuring system to see what happens. You see the way Tommy tries to slide around like that? Look at the way he traps the arm with the legs. He has a beautiful guard game. Nothing yet, though, Mitch, that registers for you as a submission attempt. Well, you can see Hanato's very aggressively trying to pass the guard. He's trying to get past the legs of Tommy, but Tommy is just keeping those legs in front of him, and he's doing a great job of preventing Hanato from passing that guard. Gets in onto the double. Let's see if he can drag him down. Good defense so far by Hanato. See the position here for Langaka. Oh, beautiful. Job right there. Dry, almost nice. dives into the leg, but good defense from Tommy Langaka. That was lightning fast, Mitch. Yeah, it was, and that's what, you know, uh, Hanato Kanato is known for these types of attacks. You give him one opening, you make one mistake, and the next thing you know is you're looking up at the lights, waking up the referee. Oh, nice little single leg attempt. Let's see if he can do this. Tommy jumps the guillotine, has one left arm. See how he's trapped the leg? Good job by Tommy to defend so far. Trying to lock the guillotine on to no avail so far for Hanato Kanuto. Back to their feet now, pressed up against the wall. 
Wow, the matchmakers did a great job with this one because these guys are very evenly matched. As we hit this halfway point, these guys are gonna have to step it up. Five minutes and 10 seconds remaining. It's a single 10 minute round. On the back goes Tommy Langaka. That was a beautiful lilt. Head snap to single leg redirection to put Tommy Langaka on his back. Let's see if Hanato can utilize some of these positions that he's in. See how he's got that knee, his uh, shin on the thigh of Tommy. He's gonna try to cut through that and maybe look to pass the guard. But Tommy's very good at maintaining his guard, keeping his legs in front of Hanato Kanuto. Time is ticking down and well past the halfway mark now. Anuto, will he start to employ the acrobatics he's so renowned for in the grappling world? The current world champion, Anuto Kanuto. Low lock on that leg there, oh, that was nice. Nice little entry into the half guard there from Tommy Langacher. Let's see if he's attacking the legs. Might try to take the back. He's still got a nice grip on that left leg as he goes into a leg lace. Now he's got a leg entanglement here. It looks like Hanato's gonna slide out, but he might give up his back. Good job so far. Oh, look at Tommy jumping to the back. He's got the back. This is what he wants it to take the back and choke out Canuto. And he finds it here. Oh, that was so beautiful. The way that he slipped around. How does it look to you here, Dragon? It looks like he's got really good control. Hanato's gonna try to spin in and go chest to chest. But look at the way Tommy traps Hanato's left arm. So he's got the back. Tommy's uh, got to free that left arm, otherwise he's gonna be in a world of pain soon. Uh oh, Wangaku's trying to get tight on the rear naked. Hanuto's trying to turn. He's trying to go somewhere, but Tommy's got great back control. Survival at the moment from Hanato Kanuto with three minutes twenty remaining. Oh, beautiful manipulation right there of the back position. See the way he's controlling the arms? How he's got his right arm underneath the right arm there? And see how that left arm is trapped with the legs? That limits Hanato's ability to really defend the rear naked choke. It's gonna take so much just technique and precision here for Hanato to get out of this because one of these might count as legitimate attempts on the rear naked choke and possibly an arm bar here. Hanato's got to free that arm and he's got the body triangle. Yep. Oh, it's so tough to get out of this position. This might be a wrap for Tommy Langacher. 240 remaining. That will seem like an eternity for Hanato Kanuto right now. Oh, he's looking at his tape. He's hiding his arm behind the head so Hanato can't go after that arm and release the pressure. He might be forced to tap or take a nap. Is it going to be two wins against Canuto for Tommy Langaka? Oh, Canato Canuto is so tough. Look at the way he's defending with just one arm. This is the same position we saw with Mikey Musumeci, how he trapped Imanari's arm and Imanari wasn't able to defend. How tough is Hanato? This is how Langaka said he visualized, he dreamed of defeating Canuto by taking the back and choking him out. Oh, face crank. Look at Tommy going after the rear naked choke, but how tough is Canuto to hang on to this position with only one arm as Tommy's sliding in. This is really high level rear naked choke right here. Look at the way he has that arm tied behind the head. And so there's no place to, he can't defend. And the other one tied up with a figure four, that triangle around the body. There is no place to go for Canuto with about 90 seconds remaining now, Dragon. Which has got to feel like a lifetime in this position. See, Hanato is trying to relieve pressure from that body triangle, right? He's trying to take his leg and go underneath it so he can create a little bit of space so he can turn into him. What is that Tommy's body triangle doing, doing so to good. Hanato? What's it doing to him? It, first so of all, it holds him in the position. To Second of all, it squeezes. It's like a boa constrictor, just slowly draining the life out of you. Where it's positioned. Look, look, he's got his arm free, so now he's he got both legs. arms to defend, right? So the idea is, is that Hanato needs to put his body on the foot side, right? He's got to take his weight and shift it over so that the foot of Tommy is on the floor. Right now, Tommy's got his knee on the floor. So there's a lot of pressure and a lot of squeeze going on. If he can get the foot to the floor and then get underneath that long leg, then he can start to work his way out of it. But Tommy's a master of this position. And this triangle has been on for a long, long time now. Is it going to be a full mount for Tommy Langaka? Indeed. Oh, he transitions to the mount. Now he's on top. Now he's got an arm triangle. 
right? So 25 to seconds choke. to go, Dragon, to this, try and finish it. That's several submission attempts from Tommy. But look at how tough Minuto is. Yeah, tremendous really, resilience. Yeah, so, so Tommy jumps over to the side. Here comes the squeeze He's on the arm triangle. Is this it? 12 seconds, 10 seconds to go. Minuto oh, so holding on. So resilient, on. so tough. Only moments left. He's a little bit high. He's not quite down and low enough, but Hanuto's going to slide outside. And that's it. Tremendous performance. Tommy Langega had that triangle slapped on the choke attempt for a long time, Dragon. Remember, there was no submission. We now go down to who made the most legitimate attempts to finish the contest. That would obviously be Tommy Langega of Norway. Tommy! No doubt about it, Tommy Langega takes it by decision. Sorry, I'm very, very happy with my performance. I know, like, when I got offered the fight and after I was like, oh shit, they're gonna send me to the fire immediately. But I'm up to any challenge. And Arthur's a great competitor, he's a world champion, a great guy, and I'm happy. It's just the beginning of my no gear career, and I beat one of the best guys. It was a great performance. I know you got a big tournament coming up, but how soon can we see you inside the circle again? As soon as possible. Right now, I have to focus on my ADCC. I've got some other things lined up for my for my academy. Right after that, I'm down to fight. You know, I want to fight Gary Tonin, the Total Bros, whoever. You know, I want to, I'm here to show that I'm the best. That's why we're here. You know, we don't fight to set for seconds. We fight for first. And always respect, but. We're here to be number one, everybody. Well, I know you're way on your way to being number one, but that guy right over there, the chairman and CEO, just gave you a $50,000 bonus for that performance right there. How you feeling? Oh, man. Man, fuck, I can't Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Man, I appreciate it, man. This journey has been nothing but a expense for me, man. But, man, I... Man, I just want to run and give you a hug after, but you're so nice, closer. <laughs> man, thank you so much. Man, uh, man, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Great performance. Go over there, get your hug from the chairman and CEO. I can't wait to see you back inside the circle. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Tommy Langaker!